welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and today we're going to discuss our detailed plans for the crusade that we're going to start in Season 3. Also, we're going to discuss the rules that we will be guided by while we're on that crusade, as well as visit the Pope and weigh the need for him or the church to even get involved. So guys, I want you to sit back on your comfy throne. I want you to grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage. And let's get ready for the season finale of 1257 AD. I've been traveling around France, and I've been looking for one of the coolest villages that I could show you guys. And I think this is by far the coolest village. It's right on the coast, and there's this beautiful ship. And uh, there's the mayor. And guys, you start way over here, right above my crown. You have to cross a couple of streams to come into this little village. And it seems very lively, and I really like the design of it. I always travel around, and I go into the villages, go into the castles, go into the scenes. Because I want to see what's going on, guys. And this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I like it a lot. There's a lot of extra details that you just don't see in most villages. And frankly, a lot of the villages tend to look the same. So it's nice to see something a little bit different. Ooh. A nice, a nice pig roasting on the spit over here. So guys, uh, I, what I wanted to do is start off in France. I wanted to talk to King Louis just for a little bit. Um, and, and that's going to be important a little bit later when we start talking about our crusade. But I wanted to talk to King Louis and also talk to you guys about uh, next season. And one of the reasons why King Robert just doesn't feel it's the right time to go up against France or maybe ever. So uh, let's get out of here, guys, and uh, show you where we're at. So I told you this little village right on the coast, but um, I am looking for King Louis. So I'm going to tr try to find him. But guys, one of the things uh, that a lot of you have requested is that we go to war with France. Now, we are a mighty kingdom indeed. And I think if we try really hard, we could probably take out France. But it would be a long, bloody, punishing war that frankly would ravage all of Europe and hit the coast of our humble United Kingdoms. And really, I care about my subjects. I care about my people, and I don't want that to happen to them. So frankly, I think the best course of action is to take the war as far away from our lands as possible, hence the crusade. So guys, we're going to talk about that. But first of all, I want to find King Louis. I want to talk to him for a second. And once we find him, I'm going to cut right back and continue with our conversation. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. All right, I found King Louis. And um, he appears to be patrolling around here. Before I talk to him, let's see who they're at war with, if anybody. Uh, where are you? Kingdom of France? No. Oh, they're at war with the Hafsid dynasty. The Kingdom of France has gotten the worst of the fighting? Really? They don't look very, very tough, I believe. Yep, it's here. Yep, yep. Well... I, I think it's they've gotten the worst of it because uh, there's frankly no lords over here. And um, the Hafsid dynasty is fighting on their own lands trying to protect it and get the French out. Um, but uh, guys, this leads me to uh, my point about um, a crusade. If you look at all the major kingdoms have made their claim um, on these crusader lands. Kingdom of France has several territories here all the way to Safed. Uh, the Kingdom of Hungary, I believe. Oh no, the Crown of Aragon and the Kingdom of Hungary. They have staked some claims. Yep, Kingdom of Hungary is down here. Um, they're also in Africa, I believe. Yeah, the Kingdom of Hungary. Um, so, I mean, King Robert's seeing all these other kings claiming some lands. He wants to get in on the action. But first of all, guys, we're going to talk. We're going to talk to King Louis and just say hi. See what our relationship is with him. So we're at negative one. We meet again. Yes. We'll see if you're a true test, my good friend. We'll see. Oh. But I know he doesn't want to go to war with me. It would be absolutely crazy. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, what are your men doing? Scouting around Bordeaux. Um, how goes the war? Tell me about this war. They've been hitting us very hard and causing great suffering. Wow. So you're in some serious trouble. Okay, so he doesn't want any of us anytime soon. 
because apparently they're, they're, they're not doing well against the war. But, I mean, they're, they're looking pretty good. Um, they're actually have stretched almost into Italy. So, yeah. And uh, so they're looking pretty strong. Look look how far. They're, they're definitely a bigger kingdom than we are. But next to, next to France, I think we're definitely the second biggest kingdom. All right. So, guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to head over to Roma. I'm going to talk to the Pope. But first, before we get there, we're going to talk about our plans for the crusade. We're going to go into detail about what we're going to do. What are the rules? What's the whole thought process behind this crusade? What's the eventual goal? And guys, I'm going to need your help. I'm going to need a mighty war council to give me some great suggestions in the comment section because King Robert is wise and he likes to listen to his war council. So guys, we're going to have opportunity for all of that. So I'm going to see you in a second. King Robert has made his way into Rome and we will be speaking with the Pope so very soon. And frankly, I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. I can't stand that guy. But anyway, guys, in this mod, there's a mechanism to use the Pope um, for your crusade. And we're going to explore that today and decide fairly quickly if we're going to use that mechanism in the mod for the crusade or, frankly, just do it the more traditional way and on our own. But before we talk about the detailed plans and before I need my war council to give me some wonderful suggestions, you need to know what King Robert's rules are for next season and the crusade. So let's get out of here and talk about it really quickly, guys. So here are the rules for next season and our crusades. King Robert has but the willpower for three crusades. And what that means is, guys, once we do three crusades, that's it. Our chances and our hope of conquering the Holy Land will be done because King Robert is finished. He has had enough, wants to return home and get to other business. So what is a crusade exactly? What will make up a crusade? Well, anytime we pass through Constantinople and head into this territory or land on the beaches here and hit any of these holy lands, any of these lands here, frankly, if we even go into Africa at all, which I don't plan on hitting these, these lands at all. But if we head into any Muslim territory, any traditional crusading area, a crusade is started. Now, when does that crusade end? Well, the crusade ends when... We have to leave this area and return to Europe to either get more food or more troops or for whatever reason. And then when we head back in, guys, we have started the second crusade and then so forth and so on. So basically, we can only uh, enter the Holy Land three times and then our crusade's done. And then after that, guys, that's it. We're not going to crusade any longer. We're going to head home and we're going to get to some other business. So... With that being said, we need to plan this crusade out precisely. We need to plan out every single detail because we can't head back home or head back to Europe and grab more men or grab more goods or whatever we may have forgotten uh, because that means we're going to have to start a whole new crusade again and we're limited on those. So we're going to use history as a guide to tell us what is the best course of action. How should we enter the Holy Land? So guys, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to come right back and we're going to talk about some other kings who have failed and hopefully we can learn from their mistakes. Now we're going to talk a little bit of history and guys, I feel we can glean the best strategy, what to do and what not to do from previous failed or successful crusades. And in fact, up to this point, there's already been seven crusades. So this would be Ah, not counting the ones that happened in this game, the 8th Crusade, but my goodness, we're probably in the teens now with France and England doing previous crusades, but we're going to look at true history. But guys, I am far from a great historian, but if you're looking for great history, you love Mountain Blade Warband, and you love this particular mod, then you need to check out a fellow Let's Player by the name of Marcus Aurelius, who does a Let's Play in this very mod um, on restoring the Byzantine Empire. And uh, guys, you should check that out. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. But guys, let's talk about the Byzantine Empire because the first crusade was really about trying to expand the Byzantine Empire and protecting them um, from uh, Muslim invaders um, from this direction. Uh, so <laughs> when uh, Godfried and uh, Baldwin of Bologna marched through Constantinople, and we're not going to go into all the details, 
they were quite successful. Of course, they had a huge battle um, that they barely escaped from in this territory, in, in what is modern-day Turkey. But guys, their real strategy was, which wasn't much of a strategy at the time, I guess, they just made their way through and conquered anything that looked good. Basically, there were a bunch of lords that were looking for kingdoms, looking for riches that they couldn't get back in Europe. And essentially, they conquered Antioch. Um, I think they conquered Aleppo, Damascus, all the way down until they finally hit up Jerusalem. So it was a northern assault and conquering lands as they, as they went, basically setting up a foothold in the north of the Holy Land. And eventually, they marched on Jerusalem and took it. Now... What about the Second Crusade? Well, the Second Crusade kind of really was a, was a war from within the Crusader states as well as a little help from outside. So we can't really learn a lot from that. But guys, the Third Crusade, led by Richard the Lionheart, who is, uh, yeah, former king of England. Um, yeah, he sailed all the way over from England and uh, attacked through Acre and eventually marched on Jerusalem but wasn't able to capture it. It was really a failed attempt, and uh, we're not going to go into the details of that, but, you know, I've, I've thought about landing here and trying to recreate with, uh, what Richard the Lionheart did, but, you know, I don't know if it's the best tactic. Now, the third, I'm sorry, the fourth crusade is interesting because one of my subscriber knights, subscriber knight MN, who's a subscriber knight on one of my other series on this channel, he suggested, hey, why don't you go up through Egypt, conquer some lands through Cairo, and then move your way up through Jerusalem. And that's interesting because the Fourth Crusade, that was the initial plan. Um, but due, some, due to some political intervention, they ended up heading back up to Constantinople and it became a huge mess and they actually ended up sieging and taking Constantinople. Now the Fifth Crusade is really interesting because they tried to do that exact tactic. Let's go up through Egypt. But the Fifth Crusade ended in defeat because of lack of surprise, lack of supplies, and um, they were defeated in a surprise ambush in the middle of the night. Um, so I'm really concerned about trying to attack this, this area starting here. Now, the Sixth Crusade, led by the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II, um, he was able to take Jerusalem through diplomacy and marriage. Now, we're going to not going to go through all the details of that but what is important about this crusade is that this was kind of the first crusade that really didn't have papal involvement which leads me to discussing do we actually need the pope the seventh crusade is is my favorite is my favorite because uh guess who led that king louis oh yes the very king louis we just spoke with and um he was actually captured and defeated in egypt we're not going to have that happen to us, guys. We cannot be embarrassed like King Louis, like the King of France. So it's looking like the whole Egypt strategy is probably not what we want to do. The strategy I've been thinking about, guys, is frankly, I don't want to take out the entire kingdom. The Mamluk Sultanates, I don't want to take them all out. Frankly, I just want to take them out to Jerusalem or uh, Kairak and basically cut the kingdom off here. And that leads me to, should we invade through Acre? Um, should we invade through the north, like the First Crusade? That seemed like the most successful option. And if we do head through the north, um, we don't necessarily need to take this castle. But we should take Tarsus. We should take Antioch. Um, and frankly, we need, to, we need to take Tripoli and maybe Damascus. Um, it is a lot of castles, a lot of siege, before we even get to Jerusalem. Now, the other option is we could just land at Acre, take Acre, take Munford Castle, and then head right to Jerusalem and try to secure our power base right here. And then we try to secure the north, head north, secure it. Maybe just take Damascus and let Safit kind of be the buffer between what's left of them. But what I worry about is essentially we're cutting their kingdom in half, right? So we almost have to take all of the north through Jerusalem to ensure some bit of security for my son in the kingdom. Um, but the more I look at it, they seem like they've consolidated, consolidated their power around Egypt, around the Nile, and they seem strong as here. They seem a little spread out um, when you look further up north. 
And we haven't even talk talked about these islands that they control. I think they, yeah, all the way to here. Um, so, there's, guys, there's a lot to talk about. And I am so curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comments section. This is your time to be my war council. You let me know if you think the route through Acre is the best. If the route through the north is the best. If you know some details I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments section. I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. The next thing I want to do uh, really quickly is I believe because CSD Deacon went over to the to the Holy Lands and did a little bit of scouting, we should know, based on that information, uh, the size of these garrisons. But we don't know. Sometimes you can find it by doing this. Let's see if we can see Antioch. If not, we can do... Yeah, yeah, here we go. So we know Antioch has 500 men. That is quite a bit. Um, we don't know how much Tarsus has. Tripoli. How many men are in Tripoli? We don't know. We don't know. Well, that concerns me. We just have to assume they all have 500. Um, so then the next option is, do we leave Damascus alone? We don't know how many are in Damascus. Oh, CSD Deacon. Thought you were going to give me better information than this. Okay, so finally, uh, let's see. Let's. I think we know Jerusalem's got over 500 men. Yep, yep. Um, and I believe the last spot we're going to look at is Acre, because that's important for you guys to know uh, what's the garrison of Acre. So you guys can give me some wise counsel. 507 men. So it looks like no matter where we go, guys, we're hitting up 500 men um, a couple of times before we even get to Jerusalem. <sighs> there is a lot to do, a lot to do. All right, guys, so let's talk about uh, the next course of action and, and the next details we need to discuss before we start this crusade. I have found the Pope. Of course, he was running away from me. He was in Rome and he left as soon as he knew I entered. Uh, but I'm going to talk to him because I want to show you guys one of the functions of this mod that's kind of unique. Um, and it is, Holy Father, I wish to fund a crusade to fight against the infidels. And uh, basically he asks, so which infidel faction are we talking about? Well, the only infidel faction because you know the Mamluk Sultanate controlled the Holy Land. So he's asking for, <laughs> God, let me grab my golden chalice and take a sip of my tasty beverage. I can't believe the nerve of this guy. He's asking for almost 100,000 gold coins. Now, what exactly he's going to give me in return? That's debatable. That is quite debatable. Um, from the best I've gathered, and I'll be honest with you, I have never used this function to do a crusade. But from what I've read is that when you pay him the money, and I'm going to do this just as a test. I did a separate save, guys, so this is not permanent. I just want to explore it with you guys. He takes all your money, all right? And here's what's funny. So you took my money, and I expect you to do this money. What are you going to use this money for? Well, let's see. Let's, let's wait for a little bit. Oh, okay, so I have declared war on them, not the Pope. And not the Catholic Church. Now, what does this mean? Are other Christian kingdoms going to come to my cause and help me out? I've heard that that is something that is a possibility that could happen. But what I've also heard is that if you take lands under a crusading banner, that it doesn't necessarily go to your kingdom. It may go to the papal states or it may be a separate kingdom. Now guys, if you know exactly what happens, you let me know in the comment section, but I am fairly certain I'm not going to use this option uh, because I don't need him to take 100,000 of my gold coins, which frankly I can't afford at this point, um, with all this uncertainty. So guys, I just wanted to show you that function and show you how I'm definitely not going to use it uh, but I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to revert back to my old save game. And then we're going to talk about the last details of this crusade for next season. Exactly my plans for my army and for my supplies. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. Next season, I can only take 236 men in my personal army with me. I'm going to try to bring over as many of my faithful lords as I possibly can. Also, guys, I think the plan is to keep... Uh, Prince Richard back to make sure that he just protects the home front. 
He should be. He's the crown prince. He should be sitting the throne while I'm gone, taking care of the kingdom. Uh, but Prince Raymond's coming with me because I am crowning him king of Jerusalem um, and of the new holy states whenever we conquer those. But here's what I'm talking about, guys. I have been building up to this. And my plan is to take over 200 senior knights with me. I'm going to have a party of nothing but my companions, my prince, Sir William Wyndham, my lion guard, and a bunch of senior knights. We are not messing around. We're not taking any infantry. We're not taking any archers. No crossbowmen. No nothing. Complete group of 200 senior knights. Now, I'm not quite there. I'm a little bit more than halfway there, so I've got a lot of work to do in the meantime and preparing for the crusade, so don't you guys worry about that. King Robert is on it, and that's why I've got all these men with me, because if I can get all these men trained up to senior knights, I'll have my 200. So they're, they're sticking with me. They're getting trained up. Uh, guys, the next thing to talk about um, is my inventory. I will fill up my inventory with as much food as I possibly can get. And if I upgrade one more time, um, I'm going to put that into inventory management so I can have even more room. Because, guys, I'm going to fill it up with grain, um, probably grain and bread grain and bread as much as we can fit into our inventory so guys so we don't have to worry about food for a very long time and probably as we march along as we march along we're going to pick up food all along the way all along the way we're going to stop at towns making sure um that our men are heading in the taverns seeing the women uh getting their morale up um but also guys there there could be a possibility that, that we sail down this way through Italy and maybe stop off somewhere on our way to Acre. I don't know, but you got to think about it. We got to resupply on the way because my men are going to eat a lot of bread. So we need to find non-combative territories that we can grab food in towns and villages while we're on our way down there. To where will we hit the Holy Lands? We've got full food, full troops. We're ready to go. Another thing to think about is if we declare war in the Mamluk Sultanate, will these other Muslim kingdoms get involved, like the Ilkhanate? If the Ilkhanate and the Mamluk Sultanate both went to war with us, that would pretty much end at least one of our crusades, because I don't think we can fight all of these, um, these lords in both of these factions, both of these kingdoms, with just the men we can bring over. I'm optimistically hoping that we could bring over a thousand men, in the initial assaults guys by the time we get to jerusalem depending on which way we go we may not have we may be greatly outnumbered when we're sieging jerusalem that's all we're saying we may be at that point and we may have to do multiple crusades to even capture jerusalem so guys there's so many things to do Whew, my goodness i have been planning this for so long guys i'm so excited about this and i want to hear what you guys think about the plan for next season. I want to hear what you guys think about your strategies, your plans for the crusade. How should we enter in? Is the 200 nights the right thing to do? Is the plan I have for food the right thing to do? I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. But guys, it has been truly a wonderful season. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um... I never thought when we started this season, this channel would be where it is today. We have grown so much since we started season one, one much less season two. So many things have changed. So many more people have joined on. So guys, if you haven't watched all of season one, if you haven't watched all of season two, take this time to go and catch up and watch those episodes because guys, season three is going to be starting very soon. But guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I had a wonderful time in this season finale. If you enjoyed this season, you let me know down in the comment section and you hit that like button. Again, guys, I want to thank you so much. And I'll see you next time in season three as we go on our mighty crusade.